What's up y'all, Toya here, and I am back with another video for y'all. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, y'all, today we are here to talk about Rody. I ain't talked about Rody in a little bit. I would love to do more orders on that platform, but the money just not worth it. Now, a few weeks ago, I noticed that my market finally got access to Rody blocks. Now, I believe these have been out for a bit in other areas. I think around March is when it originally came out, but it wasn't a thing in my market until just recently. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try myself before I gave you guys my thoughts on it. But unfortunately, there wasn't really anything that was worth taking the hours for too long and the pages wasn't right so I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys an overview on what roadie blocks are just in case you guys didn't know about it and you know if you may be interested in giving it a try so I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of the screenshots that they give you when you open up the app and you sign up for the roadie blocks all right so starting off what is roadie blocks Roadie Blocks allows drivers to sign up for a scheduled amount of time, a block of time, to deliver gigs from a particular sender or zone for preset guaranteed block earnings. It allows a driver to stay in the same area and complete multiple gigs in a row automatically, no offering on gigs required. Yeah, that pretty much means exactly what it says. So one, you don't have to go ahead and put in an offer for a gig. If you're signed up to deliver in that area, those gigs should automatically be sent to you. Now, I did notice that it says sender or zone. So my guess, I would say maybe it's the same store. So maybe for instance, if you have a Walmart or something and they have multiple orders, they'll probably keep sending you back to that Walmart to pick up merchandise and to deliver it. If you're not gonna be going to the same sender, they're just gonna go ahead and keep you in that same zone and you're gonna continuously do deliveries in that area. All right, what is an earnings guarantee? You will see an an earnings guarantee or minimum amount you'll earn in exchange for each block up front. The amount will vary based on the sender, location, and block time frame. If your gig payments, not including tips or reimbursements, during the blocks are less than the earnings guarantee, you will be issued an adjustment payment distributed within a weekly payout. So again, exactly what it says, you're gonna be guaranteed a certain amount of pay for that block that you pick up. So like for instance, in this screenshot they have this Atlanta block, you're working from four to eight o'clock, right? And as long as you're working between four and eight, you're guaranteed to earn the amount that they advise you that you're gonna earn up front. So if your payments for those gigs at the end of your block, if they're less than that earnings guarantee, you'll receive an adjustment and it'll at least pay you out that minimum that you're guaranteed to earn. All right, how do I sign up for blocks? To be able to sign up for blocks, you'll need to sign up for specific zones. Signing up for a zone means you'll be able to view any blocks associated with the zone. You'll have access to a new scheduler where you'll be able to select geographic zones, the local area you're willing to cover during your block, once you've selected your preferred zones, you'll be able to view any blocks associated with those areas. So I went ahead and did this myself because I thought I was gonna be able to get some blocks, but it's exactly how this looks on the screen. You'll go ahead and sign up for the zones in your area. You don't have to sign up for all of them, but if there is a zone that you feel like you would be willing to pick up blocks from, you can sign up for that area. It's gonna list a bunch of zones in your area, and if you like it, you just click sign up. Now, once you signed up for that zone, you'll be able to view all the blocks it'll give you the time frame that you're going to have to work along with the pay and if it's a block that interests you you can sign up for it all right joining a wait list some blocks might already be filled if that's the case you can sign up on a wait list your number in line on the wait list will be visible to you if someone removes themselves from a block and you're the first person on the wait list you'll automatically be added to that block and notified if you're no longer available, remove yourself using the My Schedule tab. Now, as you can see in the screenshot, right under where the time is, it shows how many spots are left for that block. So if there are a bunch of spots left, you can just sign up and you're good. But as you can see, there's one here that has two on the wait list. So if you wanted to do that block, you would have to put yourself on the wait list and hope that enough people drop that block so you can actually get it. 
Now for myself, I don't know if it's because it's just kind of slow in my area, but my blocks, they don't look like this. I don't have that section where it shows how many spots left or if there's a wait list, it just says sign up. So if I had to guess, maybe they're available, but like I said, there's no information indicating if there's a certain amount of spots left or if there's a wait list. So just FYI, I don't know if it looks different on you guys' side. Like I said, I haven't had the opportunity to try it. I've only seen about three or four blocks since I noticed that this feature was available. So like I said, just FYI. All right, driving your first block. Prior to your scheduled block time, you will receive an in-app navigation prompt to head to the block zone. The prompt will also include a reminder of the time you agree to be in the zone area. Once you enter the zone for your scheduled block, hit start block in the app when prompted. And as you guys can see, you have the block and then the button that says start block. So pretty much the same as if you're doing a regular roadie gig, you have to go ahead and start that gig. But in this case, you have to be in the actual zone and then you can start your block. All right, getting gigs. Once you've clicked start block, the roadie app will look for gigs for you automatically and build an efficient route you can use automatically. Once your first gig appears within the app, you'll be able to complete it just like any other gig. Your next gigs will appear automatically as you complete them. Simple as that. Sounds very self-explanatory. All right, getting paid. Breaking down earnings guarantees. As mentioned earlier, you'll receive an earnings guarantee in exchange for completing each block. Earning guarantees will vary based on the sender, zone, location, and block time frame. If your gig payments, not including tips or reimbursements during the block are less than your earnings guarantee, you'll be issued an adjustment payment distributed with your normal weekly payouts. If your gig payments, not including tips or reimbursements during the block are equal to or more than the earnings guarantee for the block, you will not receive an adjustment payment, you will keep all your gig earnings above this amount. The amount of your earnings guarantee never includes tips or reimbursements. So like we mentioned before, if for some reason you make less than what was guaranteed, they'll adjust it and you'll get paid that guarantee that you were told up front. Now, if you make more, you just get to keep all that extra money. <laughs> There's no adjustment. So yeah, that's great. And also they said that the earnings guarantee doesn't include the tips or reimbursements. So the way I'd interpret this is say for instance your guarantee was $50 but you made $70 total but the earnings that you actually got from those gigs not including the tips and reimbursements if it was less than that 50 you're still going to get bumped up more so your gig earnings match that guarantee and all of that extra that you got from tips I mean that's just yours to keep so it actually is kind of cool that they do it that way you know any extras that you get you know that's yours to keep but that doesn't count towards the total for the actual job that you did you know a lot of companies they try to go ahead and make the tips you know part of how much you're supposed to be getting paid you know your wage and it shouldn't be like that it should be on top of what you're already getting paid yeah if that earnings guarantee like I said if it's less you made less than the earnings guarantee and you made it up in tips that's not going to count towards it you're still going to go ahead and get bumped up and you get to keep all those extra tips and last thing was how do you get paid? Payment is exactly the same as how you would get paid when you're doing a normal roadie gig. If your earnings are eligible for instant pay, you can go ahead and get your money sent to you same day. Otherwise, you'll be paid out during the next payment day. I think it was what, Monday or Tuesday. It's It's been a while since I did roadie, but I know it's in the beginning of the week. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, my thoughts on roadie blocks, well, I'm kind of indifferent about it. Now, one, I do feel like it is a great alternative to go ahead and make money on the platform. And, you know, if you are constantly bidding on gigs, you know, that does get frustrating because I found myself trying to pick up a bunch of different blocks and I just don't get them. You know, out of like 20 offers I put in, I might get one. You know, I don't know if it's just because it's super saturated in my area or the payouts are just so just garbage that when something good does pop up, everybody just gravitates to that. So yeah, it is a great way to guarantee money because like they said, it's an earnings guarantee. So even if for some reason you're scheduled for a certain block and maybe it's slow, I don't know how often this happens because I haven't done it myself, but you know, maybe you're constantly looking for gigs, looking for gigs and nothing's really coming up. And you know, maybe eventually stuff starts picking up, you start earning your money, but even if you don't make enough money to match that guarantee, they're still gonna pay you out 
about what they promised you in the beginning. And that's what I love about pre-scheduled blocks. You know, for the most part, if you do the job, you're still guaranteed that pay that they're gonna tell you up front. And technically, yeah, it's the same with regular roadie gigs, but the only issue is the fact that, well, you're not guaranteed to actually get the job. You have to put an offer in and then wait and pretty much cross your fingers and hope that they go ahead and send it to you. If not, you're just out of luck and you gotta start from square one and try to find another gig that you can do and put an offer in and wait again. So at least with this, you know, you're guaranteed that money no matter what. So if you signed up for it, you drive there, you go ahead and start the work, boom, you're guaranteed that money as long as you worked the full however many hours that they told you to work. Now, on the other hand, I don't know how effective these blocks would be if the area is that slow. Like I said, I've only seen about three or four blocks since I've noticed that this was a thing in my market. If I had to guess, it's probably been less than a month since roadie blocks came to my market. Since I've noticed it, I've been going and checking and checking and checking. And my list of blocks does not look like how it looks in the screenshots of the examples. I literally get one. I get one block offered and nothing for three or four days and then another one pops up. And all of the blocks that I've seen so far are five hour blocks and they've been paying on average, I think it was like 60, $65. That is not worth it for me because I can go on Amazon Flex and work a five hour block. And the warehouse that I go to, you're getting paid minimum. Base pay for a five hour block for Amazon Flex is $95. So why would I pick up a roadie block paying 60 or $65 for the same amount of time? And with Flex, I technically can get done early and still get paid the same amount. So I'm not gonna waste my time doing roadie. If I could do the same thing for less time, and get paid more. Now, I usually don't do five hour blocks because I simply just don't have the time. And yeah, I could potentially get done early, but I just don't wanna risk getting caught up in a block and I'm obligated to go ahead and do something else. I would much rather stick to the three hour blocks. Four hour would be my max. Yeah, so far I haven't seen any of those on Roadie. I don't know what the smallest block time they offer is. If it's two hours, three hours, hours, four hours. The examples I saw, I think those are all four hours. Yeah, I just don't know if I could really justify doing roadie blocks if I'm going to be getting paid more to do potentially less on Amazon Flex. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully something else comes up in the future. And because like I said, I do want to try it and I want to see how it operates. My only other concern that I have would be the types of of orders that they send you because you know we have small, medium, large, extra large, and huge, right? So I would hope that they are gonna give you these gigs based off of the vehicle size that you have, you know, advised in the app. So if you got a compact SUV or if you got a truck or a van or whatever, or just a sedan, you know, I would hope that the gigs that they're sending you within that block are gonna be things that you can actually fit in your vehicle because I would hate to pick up a block and they send me to like Home Depot and they're like, oh, hey, yeah, you got to deliver this water heater and they got to stand up. You know, it's, it's wraps. I can't do that at all. So hopefully they have something in place where they can actually give you blocks that fit your vehicle size and they don't screw people over by, you know, miscalculating sizes and all of that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I don't think it's a bad thing, but it's just a thing of one, they have to make sure the pay is good because me seeing a five hour block for $60, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible because like I said, I can do probably less work for more pay with Amazon Flex. So yeah, try not to compare, but you know, I'm gonna go where the money at, right? I'm gonna go where the money is. And like I said, if it's worth my time, all of that, all that's super important for me. But I would love to know you guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about the roadie blocks? Do you have it in your area? Have you given it a try? And if so, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Now, before I go, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. But I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, guys. 
guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. And as always, stay safe out there and keep grinding.